right, man, let's talk about Crawford Spence, a little update. Now, apparently, uh, Team Crawford wants to know what's pretty much the hold up on the fight. You know, they did their end of the bargain, and they don't hear nothing back from Earl Spence, but also did hear that an announcement should be going on in a few days. Um, so I don't know if that's three or four days. I don't know if that's next Monday. But I heard an announcement is imminent, right? Not from even Lance Pugmar, but I heard that from behind the scenes. So let's talk about it. Check out the box room playlist, Bud to Way Box and Talk playlist. Uh, it's funny how people still blaming Bud. Like I said before, when you talk boxing, even with trainers and shit, there's no logic and, and there's no educational logic in boxing no more. It's all dick pulling. That's all it is. It's a big ass dick pulling contest. A big ass dick riding contest. That's all it is. It's hard to find somebody that's going to be objective with you and keep 100 with you. But one thing about boxing, the truth is going to come out regardless. So it don't, it don't, it don't even matter. You know, you could blame Bud, but Bud wasn't the one that wouldn't let a nigga in the ring. Bud wasn't the nigga who ran out the fucking arena. You know, just like he told uh, Bill Bellamy. He said that, you know, I ain't want to fight Sean Porter. You know, but they you I told Sean they was using him to gauge the Earl Spence, and that's why they didn't want to make this Earl Spence fight. I'm telling y'all, they did not. This is not their mo. This is not what they do. And Earl Spence didn't want to fight Keith Thurman. Canelo ain't an option right now for them. And he didn't. And him and Jamil Charles, the Earl and Jamil didn't want to fight. They did not want to make this fight. I'm telling you. They did not. They did not want to make this fight, you know. But that don't that don't mean that Earl Spence won't win. To be honest, that that don't mean shit, you know. But apparently, you know, he handling his side of the thing, his side, and you know, when they get him squared away, he gonna have to have his legal team look over it, make sure everything is copacetic, you know. You know, they saying that Bud took the B side for the rematch and all this shit. I mean, like I said before, if Crawford win, he can retire. Fuck a rematch. Hold my nuts. I'll drop these belts for more leverage. I don't care what the papers say. I'll, retire, I'll drop this shit. And I'll, that's his leverage right there. You can't stop me from fucking retiring. You can't. That's all the leverage you need right there. I'll fucking retire. You know? But... It is what it is. And it seemed like PBC wasn't going to move off the low ball offer. And he didn't have no other options. You know? That's like if Canelo didn't have no other options, they're not going to pay Canelo so much money. They're going to take the profit. As much profit as they can get. It's what That's just smart business. It's messed up then. And then, not only after you hand me, you want to do a worker relationship. I can't fuck with you after that. That's how the streets run. That's how everybody daily emotions run. But for real, that's business. You're going to have to cross paths with people who done fucked you. But just as in life, just as it is in life, you know, you know, you the people that you see on the way up is going to be the people you're going to see at the way at the, on the way down. So one day he gon' one day he gonna have the upper hand. For sure. For sure. One one day, one day he gonna have the upper hand. He gonna be Rod Shotgun. He gonna be in position. Don't worry about it. But they say they waiting to hear from Earl Smith, so I'm pretty sure Earl Smith's people going through it. First it was Spence signed his side of the contract. And how you sign the side of the contract when the other side ain't agreed to shit? This sound like it make more sense. And, and people still believing in the narrative that Bud don't want this fight. It's the, it's the most funniest shit in the world, bro. Like I said before, I, I mean, I'm, I'm past debating it. I'm past breaking it down. We've been talking about this shit for three or four years. I man, I believe it when them niggas in the ring and the final bill and the bill opening bill and they meet in the in the fucking middle of the ring. I believe it. I believe it, and that's just how, how I, what I believe. But it don't matter. We can make them people. We can make all them people that said that about Bud. He can make them, you know, wrong. 
the end of the day, all they gonna do is move the goalposts to boots. I'm telling y'all. Or you wanna go be like the love king, or why you go I'm telling y'all how, how the game go. I'm telling y'all. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I just been I've been watching I've been on this social media shit too long, bro. And after a while, you learn hanging with niggas that be flossing with your shit on and talking shit and perping and shit like that. And you, I mean, that nigga ain't got it like that. He just asked me for the twenty ball. You know, you be you, you know you know a lot of these dudes ain't built like that. So you know what it is, but. Like I said before, the purpose is to enjoy a, a, a great fight and a black event for us and support it. That's the point. And Al Heyman was trying to take that from us. But, you know, I continue to say, man, it, it, it really don't matter. We get in the ring, we either get a victor or a draw, but boxing is an opinionated sport. That's what we do know. So, no matter how you feel, somebody gonna feel a certain type of way. Move the goalposts or whatever it is. Y'all, y'all know how it go. So, but they said they waiting on Errol Spence um, to sign the contract. You know, at the end of the day, he do what I tell him to do. He take what I tell him to take. At the end of the day, it's just formalities. That's just what it is. It's just his lawyer going through stuff. Keith Thurman said he read his own contract. It's just his lawyer going through stuff. It's standard, it's standard shit. That's the shit he signed with PPI with. You know, that's what he chose to, you know, ride with with Al Heyman. So, you know, so, you know, it is what it is. He really ain't got no other, other place to go. He got to live up to his word too many times. He ain't, he ain't stood on his word. I don't care what y'all say. But you gotta understand, Earl Spence don't have no control over his career, as most other PBC fighters don't either. Al Heyman, you sign on the dotted line, Al Heyman control everything you do. He, unless he asks you what you wanna do, then it's that. You got some people that, that's, that's adamant about doing certain things, he let them go do them certain things. I would love to hear those conversations when you want to do something that he ain't in favor with, and it don't, and you do it and you go right, or you do it and you go wrong, you know. But um, you know, there'll be some concerns about the bug getting robbed. Man. If they treat you like that in negotiations, Playboy. Of course it is. But PBC don't really have a history for that. You know, people can say, well, Tyson Fury got the raw end of a deal in the draw that he should have won. All right. Lomachenko got a belt. Mikhail Brook got a belt. Jamie McDowell got a belt. You know, AJ took a belt from Charles Martin. So, I mean, it is what it is. Just know when you take those type of deals, you got to you gotta dot your I's and cross your T's. And, you, you know, your, your, man, your handwriting got to be perfect. Just know that. You're gonna have to be perfect. You know? That's just what it is. You're gonna have to be perfect. You know? So well, we'll see. We'll see. But uh they said they waiting on him. I am assuming if they got an announcement coming, he good, he cool with it. And I, I knew he would be, so it ain't really no 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 rush. I mean, it's probably other shit that they got to put in play as well, too. You know, it's other shit that go into that. Now, we don't know where the venue at. You hear rumors about Raider Stadium. You hear, you know, most people figure it's going to be at the MGM Grand. You know, that'd be like anywhere like that. Madeline Bay, MGM Grand. Worst case scenario. That's what it is because it's going to be hard to get a ticket. It's gonna be hard to get a ticket. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, but we just have to wait and see. But, but that's gonna be the worst case scenario. It's gonna be hard to get a ticket. 
especially you know out Bob Barham had all them bots you know buy them get get buy them tickets one for the Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez and it was impossible I was asking fighters you know did they get tickets and all that type of stuff and they was like I didn't even get tickets <laughs> so that is what it is but uh but we'll see that's just what it's gonna have to be but you know Terrence Crawford know what he signed up for you know just as you know we know we go to a job you know we got some people who contractors we got some people that's uh we got some people that's you know do regular nine to five shit you know and you know when you sign up to do a job with no you know you don't make no accommodations you know you know what it is you know exactly what it is. So we know, we know, most people know what the fuck they signed up for. So he just know he gotta be perfect, bro. You know, gotta be perfect. So, no if, ands, buts about it. You gotta be perfect. We, we have to see, but, you know, I'm not concerned about Errol not signing his side. You know, he didn't did this with Adam Heyman, what, almost 30 some times? So, if you can't, you know, trust him now, I mean, then, you know, I think you need to have somebody audit your shit. <laughs> so, they, they, they'll, 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 they'll get it together. So, look forward to it, though, honestly. So, if I'm near or not there, but the Raider Stadium, it's an opening there. It's an opening there, so um, it's an opening. So, oh, what are you doing? Boy, I swear people cannot drive, bro. But we have to wait and see. But yeah, I want to know the venue, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be historic, though. It's gonna be real historic. So, I look forward to. Uh, Look forward to covering it. Uh, if I go to it, look forward to going to it. But if it ain't like announced by this week or early next week and tickets don't go off sale, I ain't going. Yeah, my cousin, he getting married and stuff. So it's a, like if they do it the 19th or whatever, somewhere around there. You know, if they don't announce it soon, then I'm just gonna go ahead and get my flight for his wedding and all that type of stuff. So I won't be there in that case. But you know, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live, drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, the whole nine. Appreciate the love.